Hi, I'm Rico Russell with VIP Kid, and I'm here today with Grant Hosford, CEO and co-founder of CodeSpark Academy. Now, CodeSpark's mission is to make computer science available for kids everywhere, correct? That's right. And so I really wanted to interview you here today, so thank you so much for being here with me. Oh, I'm super happy to be here, and it's, you know, VIP Kid is a great partner of ours, and um, it's an honor to meet these teachers who are so excited to do what they do. And they're right outside the door. So <laughs> I know that you started off in finance and mm -hmm. banking and such, but now you're obviously in the tech world, right? Mm -hmm. Was there ever a switch where you were like, I'm in the tech world, I'm going to be in the tech world right now, or was it something that was more natural that built up over time? Yeah, it happened over a few years, so it was more, I realized that in finance I was mainly working on either you know other people's problems mm -hmm. or I was <laughs> telling someone about something that already happened, mm -hmm. right? Finance, mm -hmm. you always look back at how the company performed that year or whatever, but um, I really wanted to make stuff and I wanted to create something that was easier to explain to my mom uh, <laughs> what I did. And so uh, I started, I thought tech would be an interesting way to connect with people. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have a specific goal in mind other than, you know, uh, internet 1.0 was starting and I wanted to be part of that and right. see if there was a path for me there. Your mom must be very tech savvy to know what coding and tech is. Uh, well, no, she just knows she's a teacher. <laughs> Actually, oh, wow. so uh, everyone in my family except for me is an educator, although mm. maybe I'm kind of an educator now. <laughs> my dad's a high school principal, retired. My brother's a current high school principal. Wow. And my mom was an English and Spanish teacher for over 30 years. Huh. Um, and so, you know, they totally understand that we help kids learn something that's important, right? Mm. Which is this new skill of computer science. Well, that, that perfectly actually ties into my second question for you is like, you're helping currently a generation of kids who are mini coders. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting into the tech realm at a very young age. Was there someone in your past life or current life who has kind of mentored you or pulled you into that tech world? So I've had mentors for very specific things. I think, mm -hmm. you know, my parents were my first mentors in that they just encouraged me to be curious. And I was a naturally curious kid, but <laughs> they encouraged me to act on it, right? Mm -hmm. And explore things that I found interesting. And so that's been valuable throughout my life and my career. And I think I became a lifelong learner because of them. I've also had people like, there's a woman who's the president of Harvey Mudd College, which is an engineering college uh, in Southern California, mm -hmm. who taught me a lot about who has access to computer science currently and who doesn't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it turns out in the U.S., women and minorities typically haven't had great access to computer science education. And so that's one of the things that we're really excited about helping solve. So just as a fun question, I know you have a lot of characters in CodeSpark. Which one would you say is your favorite and why? So there's two. I, can I pick two? One is uh, Naomi the Ninja because that is one of our first characters and she's mm -hmm. modeled after my daughter who inspired the company. <gasps> wow. So my daughter Naomi wanted to know how computers work when she was six mm -hmm. and I went looking for something that I could use to introduce her to computers mm -hmm. and I couldn't find anything. So that's the very beginning of how CodeSpark was born. Oh. But my spirit animal is the glitch um, and so the glitch is the character in the app who is constantly getting into trouble because of his curiosity and mm -hmm. hunger and I'm super curious all the time and super hungry all the time so you would say it's a little <laughs> bit based off of maybe your a little, childhood self maybe a little bit and, <laughs> and, and maybe I got into trouble once in a while as mm. well yeah well, you touched about this a little bit of bringing awareness to gender inequality and you've done a lot of work behind it. Um, and there is a lot of gender inequality in education and you said even kids toys, right? Yeah, so I mean, one of the things that I really didn't have an awareness of is how early gender messages start in the United mm -hmm. States at least, right? Mm -hmm. So you go to Target and there's a pink aisle and there's a blue aisle mm -hmm. and the pink aisle is supposed to be for the girls, right? And there's nothing wrong with blue and pink inherently, but right. this idea that, hey, girls, you go here and boys, you go here, mm -hmm. that really rubbed me the wrong way, mm -hmm. especially because I have two little girls who are quite different 
both from each other and in terms of what they like and you know my youngest really likes a lot of things that would be seen as traditional boy likes mm. right she's mm -hmm. super into sports and she likes to build stuff and right. whatever so understanding that those messages start really young and then doing some specific things to counteract that mm -hmm. and create a more inclusive message has been a big part of what CodeSpark's about and I think we're making progress because we now have two million active users a month right. and 54 percent of them are girls wow um, so we're super proud of that and we're continuing to do a lot of work both in our own local community but also globally mm -hmm. in terms of bringing girls into stem and computer science and is there something that we can do as a community as a whole that would help kind of just bridge this gap yeah, I mean, one is just don't accidentally close any doors for young girls, mm. right? Or for young boys, for mm. that matter. I have a good friend who's a male nurse, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, that was something that was taboo for men for a long time, but mm -hmm. he loves that job, mm -hmm. um, and he's really, really good at it. So I think, you know, trying to free ourselves a little bit of these gender stereotypes is really valuable, and thinking about them early on. Um, you know, we see parents accidentally start to reinforce messages as young mm. as three and four years old, mm -hmm. like, oh, this is a path for you because you're a boy, or this is a path for you because you're a girl. Mm -hmm. And I think just, you know, open it up, whatever they show interest in, encourage them, right? That's the big thing is, is if they find something interesting, support that and, you know, give them some resources to pursue it. Well, we as VIP Kid employees hope to inspire and empower every child of the for the future. And I know CodeSpark is doing the same as well. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons we're so happy to be working with VIP Kid. I mean, Cindy's message is super progressive and super thoughtful. Um, we found VIP Kid to be a kindred spirit right away. Mm -hmm. And um, all the people we've met who work you know, for VIP Kid and with VIP Kid have been amazing and it's an easy sell to tell them about mm -hmm. CodeSpark and what we do. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being in an episode of our Thought Leadership Series and for talking with me today. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you so much for the thank opportunity. Thank you so much. It's very nice to meet you. You too. And uh, I look forward to meeting more teachers and saying hi around the conference. Mm -hmm.